What's going on guys? This is Aussie Van Man. How y'all doing today? And where are we today? Well, we we're back in the woods again. And it's actually getting a bit chilly again. Um you to have to put a hoodie on shortly. But I'm out in the Mormon Lake area. It's been a while since I've been here. This was like my go-to in the summer. Well, it's cooling down now, and um I was on my way back from out uh Williams area way and um thought I'd stop back down and um check the area out now that i have the starlink too on the roof there i can go further in before i was having to rely where i, where I could get um uh, cell phone reception to use my hotspot. now i can go deeper deeper into the woods and that's exactly what i've done but why are we here today guys well we are doing another product review and i'm getting hungry so what do we have we have the joyami air fryer guys very very cool check that nice boxing out enjoy the yummy moment <laughs> so you know i already have an air fryer but it's a very very small air fryer it doesn't fit a lot in there so maybe when i'm like going on like group things um you know when i'm cooking for others uh I wanted to have like a bigger air fryer that I could do bigger things in, maybe even roast a chicken in, maybe perhaps. So uh, yeah, Joyami sent me out this air fryer. Really, really cool. Um, so yeah, this is quite a lot bigger. My other, um, my other one's like a two quart, I think, air fryer. This is a six quart. Now it does take a lot more energy as well, where. My other one was like 400 to 500 watts. This one is uh, about 1700 watts apparently. So I don't know what the um, the high, like the surge power is to start it up, but the um, running power at probably, I'm assuming at maximum heat would be around 1700 watts. Um, so that's pretty close to all the power my inverter gives out. Um, maybe one day I'll upgrade my inverter, um, but for now, 2000 watts has been doing fine for me. But let's open the box up and check it out, guys. Got my handy, my handy dandy uh, Leatherman here. Mm -hmm. Makes that a lot easier. And over here, perfect. Open the box up. All right, so straight off the bat, there's our user manual. Um, oh, another cool thing, we'll talk about that in a second. There's a really cool little feature that this has built into it. All right, guys, there it is. All right, I have to lift it out. All right, give me one second, guys. Well, guys, I just picked this thing up out of the box. It's huge. It's so much bigger than my other air fryer. This is crazy. I could roast a whole chicken in this thing. Check it out. Look at this thing, it almost takes up my entire table. So I got this digital to display, there's all these lights that I can see little symbols for, and there's timers and pluses and minuses. So I think it's touch, touch sensitive. Um, that's really cool. All right. Oh my Lord, look at the size of the pan, guys. Look at that, it's deep and big. There's the tray, let's get that wrapping off. Okay, so that's it with the tray in there, dude. This thing is big. This is hefty. I could cook so much stuff in this thing. Okay, get the cardboard out of there. We don't want that. A little heat tray in the bottom. And it goes in just like that. Super easy. I wonder where the handle comes off. It looks like the handle can come off. Oh, oh, that. <laughs> So, the other thing, and you probably can't see it right now, but there's a really cool feature that this has that I'm going to show you maybe when we turn it on. It should hopefully be able to, you should be able to see it, hopefully. All right. So, let me hook it up to the power real quick. Okay, so we have the power on here. Oh, look at that. So we got, looks like, those look like french fries. We got, I think, bacon, a whole chicken, seafood, steak. Uh, that looks like a muffin, so I'm guessing baking, mushroom, fish, so vegetables, fish. Uh, very cool. Um, 
Now, what is a plus and a minus? There's a power, play, and pause, so start and stop. Okay, this is how I switch through. This is how I switch through the menu here. Chicken. Oh, 360 for shrimp. So it's got some presets in here. 320 for vegetables, 360 for fish. What, nothing? Wonder if I can set my own. Oh. Oh, is a timer? Oh, look at that. There's fan, heat, end. Oh, this is fancy, guys. Touch screen? Wow. Okay. Now. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> so I just stopped it and then. Now it's beeping at me. All right. Okay. So, uh, let me just get some food out. Let's uh, stick some food in this thing. Okay, so it does come with a operating manual in here, which is a little bit helpful for the uh, menu. But yeah, there's all your parts and such. Here's how to operate the uh, control panel and different temperatures and uh, operating instructions. Uh, we're literally just going to put it in for 400 because we're putting in uh, basically pre-cooked frozen foods today. I don't feel like cooking, so... On the way through Flagstaff, I just grabbed um, some frozen foods that I wanted to uh, indulge on tonight because I knew I was going to have this giant um, air fryer to cook on. All right, guys. Uh, so let's go in and put some stuff in there. All right, guys. So I put some food in. <laughs> it's just hilarious how much room is still in the pot here or in the basket here. Check it out. Look how deep this thing is. I still got all this room here. I could put a whole chicken in there easy, guys. But what do we have? We have some TGI Friday uh, loaded baked potato skins. And we have some Foster Farms um, delicious coated fried chicken strips here. Or bits. And we have some orange chicken sauce for it. So this is going to be yummy. Not exactly healthy, but I'm going to indulge because we have this new fancy air fryer to use with it. All right, so I just want to get a little spray of oil in there. Well, I didn't spray very wide. Well, okay. Uh, yeah, just to help uh, crisp it up a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and put the tray in. Okay. Oh, look at that. It uh, can tell It can tell when the uh, tray's in there. When I push the tray in, it clicked on. So let's turn her on. Awesome. Put it on. Let's gonna do a French fry mode. Oh wait, sorry, I gotta go to uh, menu first. There we go. Twenty minutes. Let's try twenty minutes with the uh, four hundred degrees. That should be good. On it goes. All right, it's heating up, guys. Listen to it. Very cool. Very cool. But. Do you guys know what the secret little uh, feature that this awesome thing has? Well, let me show you, assuming that it works. Oh, look at that, guys. Yes, it has a see-through window with a light inside so I can see it cooking and I can check on it without having to open the tray up. Isn't that amazing, guys? I'm so excited. That is... <laughs> Honestly, the light and the see-through uh, tray is what got me. Um, I love the fancy touchscreen stuff, all the buttons and uh, menus and all the cool preset stuff. Like my other, uh, my other air fryer is just knobs and turn and twist and whatever. It gets the job done, but oh my lord, uh, uh, this thing is so fancy, guys. It is so fancy. Like, look, light on, light off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have to pull the tray out to check on it anymore. I can just hit the light and check on it. That's amazing. All right, so we're going to let that cook for a little while, and then we're going to come back and check on it.
All right, um, I actually did turn them down a little bit because um, I don't really need all that heat. Uh, I want to get the uh, heat evenly through it. But let's go ahead and have a look. We'll have a look through the window and then we're going to pull the um, drawer out just to have a look just for the video. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. We got cheese on the floor. Oh. Okay, we definitely got to pull the drawer open because I don't want cheese going straight down to the bottom. I have parchment paper in there, but I think it's heading towards the edge of the parchment paper. So let's take a look. Oh, it turned... Guys, good thing I opened the drawer. It completely shuts it down. Uh, my other one doesn't do that. When you open the drawer, it completely shuts it down. That's pretty cool. I have nowhere to sit this. Uh, sit it on the box here. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. Okay, I just pulled it over to the side so the parchment paper is against the wall of the drawer. Okay, now let's turn the camera around. See if it turns right back on when I put the drawer back in. Uh, they're probably not far from being done. They look pretty close. Okay. And back on it goes. So we got to set the 320 right now. As you can hear, my uh, inverter fan is on on the inside of my van right now um yeah it takes every little bit of uh juice that my inverter has so uh i think ideally i'd want to run this more off a 2500 to 3000 watt inverter than i'm not having this fan just screaming all right looks pretty good to me guys i think it's ready all right, so I'm uh, just going to turn this off now. I'm just going to microwave something else that I got um, to go with it. And so I'm going to serve it up. Okay, guys. So uh, I may have been a little bit overambitious having a giant uh, air fryer to use. Um, I think I got too much food, guys. Look at this. Look at all the chicken. We got one and a half potatoes there with uh, mac and cheese. I bought the mac and cheese at um, Bash's supermarket. They make a pretty decent, like not the best in the world, but for like grab and go, they've got some pretty satisfying um, mac and cheese just for that quick hit. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm going to put some of that orange uh, chicken sauce on the chicken there and I'll find a good movie to watch in the van. Or maybe I'll just sit out here as the uh, sun sets and relax and eat it out here. I'm not sure yet, but either way... Uh, this is really cool. Um, super happy with the, my new uh, air fryer. And I know uh, when I get together with my friends again, uh, that's going to come in handy. All right, guys. So, Joyami Air Fryer. I will leave a link in the description for you guys. Uh, you can go onto Amazon there. They got their Amazon shop set up. And it's got all the details, all the specs, everything on there. Um, that Anything I might have missed. I don't think I missed anything, but... Uh, really, really fancy stuff. They don't do, they don't just do air fryers. They do uh, hot plates. They do um, like a version of the, th I think it's like a, one of those all-in-one cookers that can like cook meals, soups, blend stuff, um, make butter, all that stuff. They got one of those on the uh, website there too. Uh, maybe we'll do a review for one of those one day. We'll see. All right, guys. So I'm going to enjoy my dinner, enjoy my evening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this has got to be one of the biggest uh, kitchen appliances I've uh, actually run out on the road. So very, uh, very cool, uh, very cool. But um, if you guys are interested in one of these, maybe for your RV, maybe for your home, you won't have a problem running this in your home at all. In your RV or van, you'll um, you want a quite a large power station, or um, you'll need quite a good uh, inverter. Um, I would say um, probably run a 2500 to a 3000 watt inverter to a, just to have that plenty of room gap there or know that um, know exactly what you're going to run. I know it says 1700 watts on the uh, specs, but um, my understanding is usually it's a little bit more than that. Um, so with mine, I know mine was right up to max. So and I got a 2000 watt inverter. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Link in description, you know what to do. Hit like, hit subscribe, and until next time, we'll see you later. What's going on here?